You should all definitely see this movie if you like bonsai trees, and especially if you're watching Cobra Commander on Netflix. The bonsai tree, a beautiful perennial woody stemmed plant that begins its life in the wild, then is captured by Buddhist wannabes who tend to it, groom it, and make it look pretty. All of my life, I had been waiting for a film to be about a bonsai tree. And with Karate Kid Part 3, my dream has been partially fulfilled. This third part of an amazing saga that involves lots of kicking and punching centers around a special bonsai tree who I've nicknamed Bobby. Bobby Bonsai lives in a sinkhole near a big waterfall and is sleeping peacefully for many years after being planted there by a karate man. Karate man loves bonsai trees and one day aspires to open up a bonsai tree shop. But he knows that Bobby Bonsai is a special tree, so after planting him in the sinkhole, he's left him alone to grow and flourish. Karate Man eventually does open up a shop, and he's very happy until Doofus Karate Kid has his whole shop trashed and all of his trees kidnapped. So Doofus and his girlfriend go against Karate Man's wishes for Bobby Bonsai, and to recoup the costs of all the damages, they rappel down into the sinkhole. Rip Bobby out of the ground, practically drown him with seawater, and almost kill themselves in the process. Shortly after that, this mean student guy arrives at the top of the sinkhole and literally breaks Bobby Bonsai in half because he's mad at Doofus for not wanting to join the punching and kicking party. So they take Broken Bobby back to Karate Man and instead of kicking them both in the skull, Karate Man cries and brushes Bobby's hair. Thankfully, a few months later, Bobby is healing nicely and starting to sprout some flowers. He's doing so well that Doofus, Karate Kid, and Karate Man climb back down the sinkhole and plant him back to where he was before so that Doofus could never bother him again. And thus ends the story of Karate Kid Part 3. Oh yeah, there's this whole other subplot that involves Doofus Karate Kid and Sinister Ponytail Guy and mean karate student guy, but it's really not that important. It's even like that subplot is symbolic of Bobby Bonsai's journey. He's sleeping peacefully, he gets ripped out of the ground, he gets broken in half, yet he's able to overcome those obstacles and thrive later down the line. I really enjoyed this film, and overall I think it was pretty entertaining. Uh, my only complaint is that there weren't enough scenes with bonsai trees in them. I mean, what happened to Bobby for all those years he spent in the sinkhole? Were animals trying to eat him? I think that there is a whole story there that was not explored. Maybe Bobby Bonsai could have not just been relegated to a supporting character. Honestly, he could have been one of the leads. I know you all are thinking, but a bonsai tree doesn't really even move, Doug. It wouldn't be visually interesting to cut back and forth between a human actor and a tree actor that's just sitting there. But get this, trees do move. They just move very, very, very slowly. So why not spend a little bit of extra money on a, a special effects budget and film a bonsai tree over a very long time and then speed up the footage really, really, really fast. You could totally have a bonsai tree acting and reacting to other actors with that footage. Like Karate Kid would say, I'm so sorry I ripped you out of the ground, got you nearly drowned with seawater, and got you broken in half. Can you ever forgive me? And then you could cut to a fast motion video of the bonsai tree growing up and down, looking happy or sad or even coyly smiling. It's called visual storytelling. The most brilliant actors don't have to say any words. Mimes don't speak, they show you how they're feeling. I mean, this tree, if it was given the opportunity, could probably be up for some kind of award. Would it make history for a tree to win a SAG award? I mean, once it's in a movie, it's forever. This could have influenced all the films that came after it. A whole generation of vegetal thespians. Can you imagine the happening with a fern that's actually moving around, emoting, and giving like an Oscar-worthy performance? M. Light Shyamalan missed a golden opportunity, but maybe he didn't want to make Marky Mark look bad because they shared all the scenes together. If the writers had put all of my ideas into this film, it would have been a much different movie, a much better movie. And if I were to come up with a better title for this movie, it would be Bonsai Miracle, The Miracle of Karate Man, and the sturdy tree. You should all definitely see this movie if you like bonsai trees, and especially if you're watching Cobra Commander on Netflix. I like that show, and there's some scenes with bonsai trees in it, so it makes it work for me. So I would give this film three out of five bonsais. I also really dug the credit song, Listen to Your Heart. Actually, if you wanna see some of my music critiques, click on one of the thumbnails on the screen.
right now. You can find Karate Kid Part 3 on Amazon. Use the special link in the description to rent or buy it, and you can help support our show. And get yourself this awesome Astro Taco Cat t-shirt while you're at it. And don't forget, live your life like a bonsai tree, and it will be a great life if someone remembers to groom and water you every day.